Hey there everyone, today we're going to take a look at the Photodiox um, NEX to Nikon F-mount lens adapter. This little guy is actually pretty neat, it's uh, very inexpensive on Amazon, so where I bought this one. It does have aperture control of the lens. I don't know if you can see this little, this little mark here, but that controls the aperture of the lens. It's got your uh, lens release plate here. It's really a pretty basic little thing. It's just got to extend the flange distance and match the F mount here. Just real quick, pull this lens cap off. And what I mean, see that, that little rod just pulls on these little, this little lever here. See that's all the way open. And maybe, perhaps you can see that. That stops down the lens. The reason it does this is when you're focusing and composing on most SLR cameras, the lens opens all the way up, as big as it'll go, 2 a whatever it is. And then when you actually take the picture, it stops down as far as this little lever allows it to go. You can see at 1.8 it doesn't move, and all the way at 22 it moves a lot farther. Well, let's hook this together. Line up the dot there. And you can see this ring stops down the lens. Depending on which way you twist it, it stops it right down there. So let's put this on the camera and see how we set this up. So I'll grab my next seven here. This off. And I've got the flash foot. This does not come with it, or the tripod foot. But I uh, have them on my lenses all the time. So line up the red dot with the white dot. Click that on there. And I'm going to put on my. Well, I think this is probably my oldest Nikon lens that I currently have. It's a 50 millimeter f2. This is off of an old Nikoromat. You can see it's got the manual aperture control and the manual focus. One thing to note is this lens works the same as the newer lenses. If I stop down to f8, hopefully you can see this. If I stop down to f8, it's still, depending on where I put this, is this twisty ring, it's going to allow me to compose in bright and then stop down. So depending on how that's turned, whether you want a depth of field preview or whether you're trying to get the brightest view possible, you're going to want to adjust that. And if you look right in here, you can see when it's towards the open side, it's actually stopping down. When it's towards the lock side, it opens it up. So even if I set this to f11, if this ring is turned to lock, it's really shooting at f2. Okay. So if you can compose this way, just make sure you lock it down and that will increase your depth of field. So, in camera settings, you just have to turn on one setting. It's in the setup menu. And so, release without lens. If you enable that, because this can't see this lens, doesn't know what kind of lens I've got, that turns that on. So, we'll focus on something. See if you can see... Uh, Perhaps you can see the focus peaking on the video. See it starts highlighting it in red, which makes manually focusing very simple. Manually focusing is it's a joy with this setup. So if you leave this to the lock side, you're actually getting a live preview of your depth of field all the time. But if for some reason you need to let more light in to compose or focus, or you want to really pinpoint your focus on something, 
flip that to open, then just flip it down to lock just before you shoot. So now let's take a look at what uh, what this works like on a lens without an aperture ring. As you can see, it's really easy to set your aperture on these because you just twist the ring. So this is an old one. I've got a more recent 50 millimeter, but you can see it has the aperture ring. So let's look at this G-series lens. This is the uh, Nikon Fisheye. And as you can see, no aperture ring. So with this, you have to base your guess on your live preview. Because all you have is this ring. This is controlling the aperture. You can see right in here, you can kind of see the lens open and close in there. And so you just have to guess. I know this is a 2.8 lens, so all the way to the lock side is 2.8. And all the way to the other side is uh, 22, I believe, on this lens. So you can kind of guess the distance. You can go in the middle, about f8. Or just use the live depth of field preview to, um, to pick. Really focus. And it's really a joy to use. You can uh, convert any of your old lenses and existing lenses you have. If your friends shoot Nikons, like a lot of mine do, a lot of our work lenses are Nikons, I've got this little guy and I can make use of all of those lenses. And it doesn't affect your functionality nearly as much as I thought. The ease of manually focusing with this system is super easy. It's pleasant. So I've got this fisheye. I'm actually going to sell this fisheye because it's a lot of money just to keep around. And there you have it. So if you've got any old lenses, there's an adapter made for you. This is the Photodiox one. I've heard the uh, there are a lot of other choices. This one's pretty inexpensive. You can find them on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check ReflectedPixel.com. For more information about me, there's galleries there if you want to see some of the work I do. And there's a lot more videos here on YouTube.